early on in our relationship, we discovered that a shared value was living sustainably and responsibly. And some of that is really easy, like composting and recycling and where your food comes from and where your clothes come from and all of these materials we use and your habits. But then we wanted to start thinking broader as to like how we're actually living, like the structure we're living in and how we're contributing to the neighborhood and the world around us. And we discovered Passive House and decided that was probably the best route for us to achieve this goal. Hey guys, today we're at the home of DR and Jen Schrader in beautiful Minneapolis. Now this home is pretty special. As you can see, it's still a work in progress, but it sits right in front of a lake and it's being built to Passive House standards. Let's go check it out. We are DR and Jennifer Schrader, and we are standing outside of our soon-to-be-built home, which will be built to Passive House standards right outside of Minneapolis on this beautiful lake, and we are so excited. <laughs> Ready to move in. Yes. Passive House building is all about creating a sealed envelope um, where you can keep the air you want in. and. In depending on the season and to do that it's all about insulation and windows basically that create this envelope so this house will have um, pretty thick walls I think they're gonna be about 19 inches thick um, the roof is 23 inches thick um, these windows are you know they have triple triple pane which is not standard in the United States I would say the fact that when we start and maybe you disagree with me I don't know that when we started we our priority was on the passive principles and wanting to meet this energy standard. And I got it into my head that we would have to sacrifice our aesthetic hopes for the home in order to achieve those standards. And we didn't have to. We found a designer who had no preconceived notions about what a passive house had to look like. And he just designed a house how we wanted it to look. And then we were able to find a builder who could take that design and work with that designer and mm -hmm. help this house to achieve passive house standard, which is phenomenal. We don't feel like we had to sacrifice on either end. And Yeah, we took the house we, that we liked the look of and it, our builder made it a passive house. We have allergies in the family and everything impacts one child in particular, carpet and curtains and discovering that the air quality in a passive house was really going to be far superior because of the air exchanger that's required in this tight envelope means that he's gonna have almost no triggers in this new home, which is exciting to him as well yeah. as us. Don't be afraid to do research, a lot of research. Don't be afraid to talk to people who've already done it because at least in this area, everyone's gonna have a different way, a different path that they chose to achieve that goal. And hopefully the more people that start building like this, the easier it will be to find a path that fits for you if you decide to do this. But also it would be that you can drive yourself crazy with research. Like once you make the decision, okay, we wanna live as sustainably as possible, we wanna meet this energy standard, you will start researching every little decision that goes into building the house and you'll start to feel like you're choosing between the lesser of two evils because nothing is ever completely perfect. And then you'll find something that you feel like mostly achieves your wishes and you'll decide on that one thing and two weeks later you'll discover something else. And you're like, oh. it's, it's definitely more of the, the first where we, we kind of had to uh, find our way. Um, and we knew what we wanted, but that way wasn't necessarily easily paved for us. So it took some time to figure out how to get to where we are today. Yeah, but we found we had to be, you know, you have to be in there and, and wanting it because it, it a lot of ways, you're, you're your best advocate, I guess, to make this happen, so. And finding a team of people who are equally passionate about finding solutions to problems or researching or educating themselves as part of the process as well. We talked about when we started the process how challenging it was to figure out the steps we would need to take to make this happen. And now we're in this wonderful phase of just getting to sit back and it is happening. The ball is rolling and we're able to tell people that this is going to be a reality and in sharing that news we're hoping to sort of spur excitement in other people to want to do the same yeah. thing. It takes a while to do a custom build. It's not something that happens quickly so it's been you know a long process but now I, we're just we're ready to to be finished and uh, to move in and mm -hmm. enjoy the the comfort of living in a house where you can walk around on your bare feet and not worry about getting frozen toes in Minnesota.